What's up guys, welcome back to the Team Soma Circus live video. On the left side here we have Rescue Ace, one of the most powerful decks of the format. And then on the right side here we have Salamangres, a deck that's going to get key on better and better and better. This is the Year of the Fire. We have cards that are coming out like the Link 3 that's like crazy with a new Raging Phoenix stuff like that. As well as you know having a bunch of hand traps in this build. I know for for sure that this guy is not playing like cards like Will and stuff like that. So we're going to be seeing a lot of hand traps. You know Josh does love his hand traps as well as like you know having the like one card combos and just, like, just go to make his board and then have like a bunch of hand traps to back it up and before we dive in we'll see a, a die roll here with salamander you're going to be choosing to go first here which is pretty nice if we can see up like maybe a rage roar set up here it can be quite good but before we dive in where we see don't forget to like comment subscribe we're on the road to 5k here we need your guys support you know only like 82 percent of you guys are 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 not are only like 82 percent of you guys are not subscribed so definitely helps out we're going to be seeing them summon out of Fenrir here, and then we'll be going for a Gazelle, you know, Spinny Line, dumping the Rage, they, or dumping the Roar, because I already have the Spinny. And then we can go into a Splash Mage. Splash Mage is going to be summoning back out the Gazelle. Then we're going to be going into an XYZ into Mirage Dalio. We're going to activate the effects to summon from the deck here, most likely going for a Jack Jaguar or a Fire, perhaps. Going for the Weasel Line, so we're going to be trying to perhaps lock our opponent um, if we are on, like, a main deck version of Ravelry, which is a very much a possibility there. Then we go for the Salamangrate Sanctuary, Seraking Search, the second time off the Bailinx. And we get the draw card as well off that Weasel. Going into the Heat Soul, paying a thousand to draw a card. And then we can just go into a copy of the good old Raging Phoenix, and it's going to be able to be bounced back to the hand with the effect of Mirage Dalio. So we're not playing the lock here, um, but we'll be playing the field spell then we're going to relink into the second phoenix that's going to reset the roar and then we're going to be searching for a rage here then we have rage roar as well as phoenix a weasel in hand as well as like we saw our draw two essentially there um let's simply pass turn on this you know we have five cards in hand we have rage roar set um a fenrir with search another fenrir so that the board does get outed you know they have essentially a st extension there a lot of you guys were like wondering like how is how does this guy even play his deck and this is essentially how he does it you know josh is a big fan of like those one or two card combos that go make the exact same board every single time and then having those floodgates or hand traps essentially stop their opponent but we're going to be seeing a fen we're going to be summoned out here and then we're going to activate the effect of the wanted searching for a copy of the um black witch then we're going to hit with a droll and then we're going to be seeing fen you're going to activate on res trying to banish the uh Phoenix there, and then we're going to get hit with an Imperm as well, and that is going to be a scoop phase right there from Rescue Ace. Um, yeah, this deck is insanely powerful, um, especially when you start drawing a bunch of cards. Like we, we, I believe we saw like 16 hand traps in his deck, um, which is which is a lot of hand traps. But like Droll, Rage, Roar, um, Fenrir, plus, uh, plus an Imperm, I, I don't know if any deck can beat that, to be honest. Pretty unbeatable. Like, you have to have, like, double evenly or something like that to end up actually making an impact. And then even then, I don't even know what they keep. Um, they probably end up keeping, like, a... Actually, I wonder what they do keep in that scenario. Like, Imperm doesn't seem very high value enough. But the thing is, Rage as well as Roar both need a, the Silent Great Monster on the field. Um, and you, you have a Fenrir, so you don't even need to keep the Fenrir yourself. You definitely get rid of the Fenrir. Um, you might just keep the uh, the Phoenix, to be honest. But we're going to be diving into game two here with the Rescue Ace going to be choosing who's going to go first or second. And obviously they're going to choose to go first. You know, you definitely don't want to see that board again. We're going to see a normal summon of a hydrant and then we're going to be special summoning out the fire fire attacker or fire engine here then we're going to activate the effect of hydrant get a hit with ash blossom this is an sp line if we need to we also see that they have a trap in the hand So we're going to see them link away for a Link Rebo. 
And then we're going to be able to special summon out the Preventer here by banishing. And then we can just link away for a copy of IP. And then Preventer is going to be summoning out the uh, Hydrant here. Then we're going to set one and pass. Not looking too good. Having the uh, having the SP though during our opponent's turn is pretty nice. You're not going to be able to choose what to banish essentially there. Um, and wanting to actually use that like banish on field effect. We do see a, looks like a spinny and then a circle in the hand and a foxy, no it's fire foxy circle, okay. And a nib. So we're going to see the circle being activated here. It's going to resolve searching for a copy of gazelle. And we have two circles, okay. Looks like they're debating over normal summoning fire or foxy here. So we have foxy, fire, nib, gazelle, circle. So we're going to be choosing to normal summon out the foxy here. Um, that SP will be making it quite problematic. The map speed will you flip up the, I think it's rescue or contained here. I'm not even sure. So we're going to see it's going to be activated here. So I believe it cannot be used as link material, which is kind of tough. Then we're just going to pass on this, you know, hoping that they play into a nib. Can they play? I mean, they may have to play in the nib to win here. We're going to see them summon out the fire attacker here. We get to search for emergency, and then we're going to activate the effect of the hide in here, searching for big turb or preventer. Going for big turb here. You know, that's the thing. With, if you keep turbulence in the hand, nib becomes like so much weaker. I do have the nib to like stop the board though, which does kind of suck, but. They have to think, like if they don't have any other extenders, they probably have this here. They're going to see the second summon of Turbulence and act with the effect here to put four. And they already used one of the traps, unfortunately, so we're going to be seeing the alert, the other trap, and then the rescue, and a copy of Emergence there. Emergency, whatever it is. And they can add back. Well, they can activate one of them, so they're probably going to act back the, uh, the one that searches from the deck because they already have a hydrant on the field so they can just activate it to like yeah to search the deck here probably for a preventer and they're just gonna scoop it up realizing that your opponent's gonna have too much here i mean you know, probably not playing into the nib um not really needing to but we're gonna be seeing them going on to game three here with sally gonna be choosing to go first or a second here will they be able to put up the board but there will be board breakers in the deck as well like we saw uh, in game one, most player our players are not playing board breakers, but we could see like a evenly matched or a lightning storm in the uh, in the deck now. Now that they're going second, and they know they're going second there, so you know there are some easy side outs for rescue ace. Going to be able to side out like some of those traps. Um, I know some people were actually saying that they played three, uh, three hydrant in the main deck, and then they sometimes they side one out, and then like we saw like a. Uh, engine the fire engine one that one can just be gone out of this main deck here it could actually be potentially in the side deck the same thing with the airlifter i um, mean you, know, you can just side some of those out you know the rescue ace engine being very versatile i'm able to play some really good stuff here we see them take out the veilers which is interesting or at least take out some veilers here as well as Drolls and Fenrir's too, which is interesting as well. I did see the Fenrir being taken out of the main deck. Maybe cutting it down to two options, or maybe you know you just not even want to see it because it's not that good in the matchup, or they don't want to play into cards like Nib. Um, I mean, they did see that the opponent's also playing Fenrir, so then obviously your Fenrir gets 
essentially weakened at that state. But we're gonna be going in here and we see a mining uh, circle as well as a copy of Droll and a Ravelry it looks like. So we're gonna be seeing the circle gonna be perhaps resolving their thinking on it. So they could be ashing this. We are going to be seeing them ash it. You know, maybe also having Droll in the hand and thinking about it, if it's even worth it or not. Or if they're, like, you know, they have a mining when you essentially get punished. But you don't get really punished because then they are wasting, like, another card for it. Like, it is essentially a two for one. We're going to activate mining, pitching the goes in here. Searching for most likely a Salamagrade of Fire, but they're going to get hit with a Droll on res, perhaps. And then the turn will be essentially over. They're trying to choose between Fire and Gazelle, it looks like. You know, Gazelle is the safest play, but Fire is a nicer play. Choosing the fire here, or choosing the gazelle there, going for that safer line. They're going to normal summon, activate the effect of gazelle, dumping here the roar or a spinny. I guess they're going to be dumping the spinny there. Then we're going to go into a copy of the Mirage Dalio. Activate the effect, summoning from the deck here, most likely the weasel or a copy of fire now. They already are fire locked due to Mirage Dalio. They didn't get hit with anything there, so like there's no really no need to summon out the weasel because you can just summon out the fire, then fire is going to add the weasel, and then they could just summon out the bailing. So bailing will be searching for the field spell here. Then we can special summon out the weasel here. Then we're going to be linking away into a Bailinx. Then we're going to activate the effect of Weasel put back and then draw, which they draw into Ash Blossom, which is nice because it is a form of interaction here. And do they, they still have a, one of those floodgates, but they can they go for a bigger monster is a question. Like I don't know if there's any way for them to actually get one more monster on the field. Because they want to go for that rank, they want to go for a link four, but so far it only looks like they can only go for a heat soul. I'm gonna go for a sunlight wolf here. And they can activate the field spell here, sanctuary, and that's what they're thinking if they can get any way to get one more extender on the field. We do see a Droll in the hand as well. So they have Ash Droll. Okay, you're just relinking here into the Sunlight Wolf. Sunlight Wolf will be able to add back. Adding back the Gazelle, I believe, or adding back Circle. Setting two cards here and passing, you know, one to make sure that if they do hit one of those spells and traps, it can be a random. They're going to flip up, goes and match right away, I guess. I'm just wrong here. But they're going to be locked into uh, fires here, which means they can't get S speed, but, um, you know, they are going to be able to do a bunch of other stuff. You know, the rescue ace cards are all fires themselves, so it doesn't really matter that much with a goes and match. We're going to see a sinful spell is going to be activated here. Searching for the Black Witch, she may actually not be a fire. I believe she's a dark. So I guess they cannot touch them on her out, which will not get them into the Hydrant access, um, which is pretty nice. You know, also not being able to go for a... Uh... I wonder if you just actually... Let them summon out the Black Witch first and then lock them to Darks. 
want to see them already have the sinful spoils origins wow tripping off the gazelle here to summon out the hydrant from the deck that is kind of rough See them summon out the hydrant here. This is what I mean. The deck is all fire, so it doesn't even make that much of an impact. We're going to be seeing them banish to put back and then drawing a card. So, you know, maybe drawing a crazy card. Then we're going to see them hit with Droll. And they're going to be chaining a circle to this. Switching for another copy of Gazelle for the follow-up. So now we have Ash Gazelle. Which is pretty nice, but you know, Hydrant won't be able to search here. They did get a little bit greedy with the wanted play, but they, you know, they probably figured that they would they would have drolled on res or something like that on the other one. But they will have other stuff they can do here, potentially. Um, there's no uh there's no exact link one they can link off to for a fire, so Preventer is not live. Um, you know, if they have like Fire Attack or anything else. They have not Normal Summoned yet, so they do have that option as well. But we know for a fact that they have like um, Diabell Star in hand, so that's one card that's like essentially dead with air quotes. Um, they also have, you know, Ash Blossom there, going to be able to do it. But like looking in the extra deck, there's no really one link one's fires they can actually go for. If they do have another normal summon, which they do, they have another copy of Hydrant here, which this can now link away for a copy of Lakita, and then Hita can end up taking, which is nice, but it does lose to a Veiler, which they, you know, potentially could just have, but at that point you just have to kind of like force it out. So it's like they're going to be letting that Hita go into re-resolving here. And this will also allow Preventer or... Um, the Turbulence Access. Having that additional Normal Summon is kind of hard, to be honest. Like, that's kind of crazy. There being, like, multiple cards they could have had in hand, like Impulse or any of the little other, little other ones, like Fire Attacker, but... If they could essentially go here for, like... If they want to steal, steal the Sunlight Wolf, they can actually relink. I mean, they can't... Re yeah, they could relink into their own Sunlight Wolf. If they wanted to, because they could just steal Sunlight Wolf Relink by using the uh, copy of Hita and the Sunlight Wolf. Uh, which could add them back the um, the Hydrant there. But it doesn't do very much, unfortunately. They're kind of like forced to go battle phase and have them protect their stuff with a Balinx and then link away but we're gonna see a preventer here actually banishing to summon itself out um, this is gonna be quite good it's also good because they can book um, like the first something that's summoned that's off of the like the first monster that's summoned off of the uh, off the like the salad player there so you're gonna see them go battle phase they're gonna protect the Sunlight Wolf here, and then we're going to be seeing it crash into it there, and then we're going to see Sunlight Wolf attack into the Phalanx, and then now they're going to have to be pretty much forced to draw another extender there, um, because we can see they're going to actually link away here, that's interesting, then we're going to be able to bring back out the Hydrant here, then we're going to get Sunlight Wolf's effect to add back the Ash Blossom. I suppose that's fair. And I'm simply just going to pass turn on this. Um, which, you know, Preventer could have been able to use the Book of Moon the first, the first normal, but we're going to see them normal summon out the Foxy. Then when we link away into Balinx, we're going to be seeing the effect of Gazelle being summoned. Actually, the effect getting hit with Ash Blossom. But we do still have the Spinny to summon itself out here. And 
And we know one of the cards in hand is the Black Witch for them there. They're kind of just looking at their options. I don't really know if there's any other. They can make a Hita, and Hita can actually take. Hita can take the Hita here. They're going to see them go battle phase. They're going to attack over the. The Hitas are going to attack over the uh, the Sunlight Wolves, and then we're going to be seeing uh, the Gazelle hit over the Hydrant. We're going to go for the copy and relink away the uh, the Link 4 here. You know, we're going to be able to set either a Roar or a Rage, and it really depends like what do we value more. Do we value like, multiple pops, or do we value like a 1 negate, essentially here, which is going to be kind of tough because of the fact that, you know, we have we have one we're gonna go for the roar so we're trying to get for that negate there we have ash in hand as well it's so gonna draw for turn here now there's three unknown cards they're facing down against a negate and an ash blossom we're gonna go lightning storm spells and traps gonna get hit with a roar now that is forcing it out though that's pretty nice now only having dealing with that like uh the link four reborn essentially effect their raging phoenix you know going to be able to make itself a good solid 56 attacker um, once it dies of course but like they can just find other ways to do it you know they do have one engrave and they have the fire that can like trigger it essentially there so they don't have to take any damage they get like a pop one and then like summon out a big guy We're gonna see a special one out of a Fenrir. I actually don't even know what this does. Like, Fenrir's gonna to attempt to attack, and they're gonna banish the uh, banish the Gozen match here. And then we're gonna be seeing the Gazelle, or the attack into the Gazelle. And we're gonna be seeing the Sunlight Wolf, or the that Sunlight Wolf, the Raging Phoenix summon itself out, and then popping. It's not even choosing to pop. Wow, okay. They're going to be normal summoning out the fire attacker. They're going to ash this, leaving just a Diabell Star in the hand here. They're going to see the Fender going to activate its effects here, searching for another copy of itself. Um, you know, this will be allowing us to actually activate the effect here, summoning herself out as well without losing any really resources there. And then they'll also be able to get the Hydrant, which can then search for the Big Turbulence. Hoping that they maybe don't have another one in the graveyard. Or, they have two in the graveyard. So hoping that maybe they're only on the two here. Which could very well be a possibility. They have gone through the battle phase, which is pretty nice for them as well. Not they really debate like what they want to go for here. If they are like pretty much out of resources, but they have a Fenrir, which you know it will be able to be beat over by. The Raging Phoenix, but I'm gonna see them go for Diablo. I'll start with the IP, and they're just gonna pass turn on this, which can let them go into an SP and banish here. I'm gonna see them banish, and then they go battle phase, just attack right over it there. Having just one card, but her opponent has nothing here. You know, they obviously do not have another level one fire in the deck here. So they're going to have to open up like a Turbulence here or a Reventer to essentially just make some plays. 
see them just pass turn on this. Are they out of gas? Can Salamangrate just burn their way? They have a Wanted. It's going to hit with Ash Blossom, and that's just going to be... That has to be game there. I mean, they can go Wanted, put back the Die Bellster to draw a card, I suppose. It's going to simply pass on this. They're trying to look in the graveyard, see what they have left. They're going to go Spinny Effect to Reborn. They're going to go Battle Phase, and they're going to attack with both of those. Setting one card and passing on this. They draw, and they're just going to scoop it up there. They have an Ash Blossom. That's just going to be it. And that was a cross out here, which is pretty interesting to see as well. Um, but hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We end up seeing Salomon Greats end up taking it there. Their fire was too much for the uh for the deck there you know having those hand traps is just really good we saw them get into a little bit of a grind game where they do struggle a bit but luckily for them they ended up having to burn that second hydrant by being in the hand which is very nice um, but kind of unfortunate uh hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment subscribe if you want to see some more content like this don't forget to stay safe peace